my goodness gracious. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Red Clay Music Foundry. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. What a good looking group you are. Except that group over there, I'm just seeing their butts. Because they're all standing up looking the other way. Their seats are all messed up, I'm sure. Do y'all need some help over there? Y'all got it, y'all got it under control? Oh, they don't even listen. It's okay. So we're really glad you're here. If you've never been here before, a special welcome to you. Uh, a couple of things you need to know about the building in the lobby. Turn me up a little bit, Shalom, please. In the lobby, there are two restrooms. Uh, there's a uh, men's room and a ladies' room that are downstairs. If you go to the ones in the lobby, you queue up in front of the bar and wait your turn. Uh, there's, uh, I promise, just one toilet per room. Uh, we're not making any sort of statement there of any social, religious, or political content. It's just that there's one toilet per room, so just wait your turn there. Speaking of the bar, we strongly encourage drinking, and we hope that you will imbibe heavily. And uh, if you do, Uber and Lyft will pick you up right at our front door. They're well acquainted with uh, uh, the Red Clay and Eddie Owen Presents, and they will be here and take you home. Undeniably beautiful downtown Duluth is so safe you can leave your car right where it is for a couple of weeks. Go home and sober up and come on and back and get it when you get ready and it'll be A-OK. -okay. Now also I'd like to mention that uh, there are some little flyers in the lobby to talk about our upcoming show. And I hope you'll consider, <laughs> is that me, Shalom? I... All right. I, I, I hope you'll consider taking one of those with you and coming back to see us another time. Uh, that would be just lovely. Uh, also, I just got to say that having you here is very special because I love Burge and I love Jumbo and I've known them a long time and they have been doing this for 50 years. Can you believe that? That is so crazy. And honestly, this was not scripted, but what I'd like for you to do, all of you that are still young enough to do it, is to stand up. Stand up. Hey, boys, we're breaking tradition. I want you to come out here. And what I would like to do, well, this is not how we normally do it, but I want, before the show, to give my friends a standing ovation. <laughs> Keep your hands together and give a big welcome to Banks and Shane. We're going to take a short break. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, this is um, going to be a pretty emotional night, I think, for all of us. That um, we, we, you know, we owe it all to you. So let's get started and have some fun. Gee, but it's great to be back home. Home is where I want to be. Yeah. So long, my friend. And if you came along, I know you wouldn't disagree. But it's the same old story. Everywhere I go, I get slandered. Satisfied, satisfied. Deputy Sheriff says to me, Tell me what you come here for. Boy, you better get your bags and flee. You're a trouble boy, and now you're heading for more. Well, it's the same old story. Everywhere I go, I get slandered.
put the load. You put the load right on. You put the load right on me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little leave on helm early in the show, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, um, one of the first adventures we ever shared together, I think it was in early January of 1979, Paulie had been in the Navy, and when he got out of the Navy, he swore he would never be on a boat again in his life. <laughs> but we, I got him drunk one night, and I said, let's go sailing. He said, okay. So, that's like the story of our career right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so uh, we, we chartered a sailboat down in uh, St. Vincent in the Grenadines. And we had a couple of buddies from, uh, from Texas join us and a couple of buddies from uh, Steamboat Springs join us. And uh, we went down there. It actually, was, it, was, it had a purpose. It was a sort of a cultural exchange. We went down to the uh, West Indies to show the people of that area the true meaning of the word redneck. And <laughs> it was an enormous success. <laughs> At least that part of it was. But that started a, a passion with us and we've been for fortunate to go back many, many years. But the neat part of that story was Paulie and I, we had, to, we had a gig in Steamboat. And we left Martinique early one morning, it was about 83 degrees, and when we stopped in Atlanta and picked up the band and picked up our guitars and stuff and flew out to Steamboat. And when we got there about seven, eight o'clock that night, it was about 15 below. And, uh, and they had 23 inches of snow that night. You could hear my skin hitting the ground. <laughs> but the fun thing was we were kind of young, and I mean, it wasn't exactly our Speedo days, but we were kind of young and wild. And, the cool thing is we, we'd get in the hot tub and we were the only people there whose tans didn't stop right there. So we're skiing that next day and Paulie says, hey, I, I wrote a song. I said, really? What's it about? He says, it's about our trip. I said, play it for me. And he did. And uh, it is a, a wonderful recounting of that very first adventure in the Caribbean. And oddly enough, it's called Caribbean. Of course. Caribbean. 
comes back every year for many years to come. Stories. Oh, my Lord, have we got stories. One time I, we, we had what we called dinghy wars after dark. And uh, it was not pretty. There were eggs being thrown. Water balloons. Water balloons. Whiskey bottles. Empty whiskey bottles, yeah. I might add. Arr. <laughs> I took an egg right in the eye. And I had cuts. I went, boom, 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 boom. That's why that that's why he got the patch, which made it even more authentic. <laughs> <laughs> we um, we had the. I forgot to tell you, we got an email today from Claire Lynch. No kidding. Yeah, she said congratulations on a, on a great career stuff. Yeah, and oh. Claire, we learned this next song from Claire. I, those well, some of you obviously know her. Um, she is one of the most, mar if you ever get a chance, she's not playing quite as much anymore, but if you ever get a chance We're to see either. Claire Lynch, she is um, just absolutely remarkable, the voice of an angel. But we learned this song, we, we were fortunate enough 10 years or so ago uh, to do three or four shows with Claire, and uh, she taught us this song. It was written by Pat Alger, who's from LaGrange, and Pat so, wrote, wrote a whole bunch of hits for Garth Brooks. He, she, uh, Pat wrote... Um, Unanswered Prayers and a bunch of other big Garth hits, but he also that we wrote, can't remember. Yeah, we, and we've never learned. I mean, Pat never did any of our songs. And we figure, you know, we're doing one of his. That's I good know, enough. Like but anyway, Claire taught us this one, and it's one of it's become one of our very, very favorite songs. It's called "Be Ready to Sail." In a moment of reflection, looking back upon my life, there were times I changed direction, letting fortune pass me by. And there were seldom second chances, and nothing so profound as a lesson learned the hard way that I'll use next time around. Be ready to see. When a good wind blows your way, be ready to sail. Cast your feet upon the water, catch a big wave by the tail. And when a good wind blows your way, be ready to sail.
song. Oh, man, we love good songs like that. So, we're going to feature Jimmy Duran. Now, y'all say, hey, Jim. Hey, Jimmy. All right, I'm going to try to compress this story, but we first met Jim in 1975. We've been out on the road, and we came back to Steak and Ale at North Lake, which is our home port in those days. We come back, and uh, all the folks that work there, the waiters and waitresses and bartenders, they, you guys really need to up your game, because there's this new band that's played here, and they're going to run y'all out of town if y'all don't get any better. And Jimmy was in that band. It was called Smee Too. And they, were, they became, very quickly became our favorite band. We, we played, uh, you know, we helped them with some places that we had played and out on the road and stuff. And one time we were all out in Texas. Trying to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> Running from them, actually, you know. And so we were out and we were playing in Dallas and they were in Houston. And uh, we used to play touch football back here in Atlanta and stuff. And so we decided to have a road game. And they drove up from Houston and, and we were in Dallas. And night before the game, we were nervous about the big game. And we had Vern Lundquist at that time was, was Vern was um, with Channel 8, director of sports in Dallas. And he was also doing ABC's Wide World and stuff. So we told Vern, we said, we, after the show, we said, we'll have one beer. We got, we got a big game tomorrow. And he says, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, we got this band coming up and we're going to play football. He said, Call in the score. I said, are you kidding? You'd do that? He said, sure. So we played the game, and then we went back to our apartment, and we were having burgers and shrimp and beer and stuff. And 5 o'clock came, and we said, oh, we gotta see, we got to watch the Falcons, see how they did. So the guy, Vern, comes on. He says, Pittsburgh beat Cleveland, and St. Louis beat San Francisco. All of a and Banks and Shane beats me, too. <laughs> 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 They we went, run, what the hell? We run into old Vern every now and again, and we st he still laughs about that story. It's great. He's a great friend, but a better friend is Jim Duran, and we're going to feature him right now. Here he goes. Thank you so much. Let me just add that Smee Too broke up in 1979, but Banks and Shane. Oh.
Bop Bop Bond, by the way. You know, there are some songs that we've been singing every night our whole career. Some I really like. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. We're supposed to go out on a high note here. <laughs> this is one of them. It's a great uh, James Taylor song that we wrote back in the early 70s. It's really, it's really, um, it's a James Taylor song, but it's unlike anything he ever dreamed of doing with this song. In my mind I'm going to Carolina Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? Ain't it just like a friend of mine Coming at me from behind And I'm going to Carolina In my mind Karen, she's a silver sun You must walk her way and watch her shine Watch her, watch the board and come A silver Something soft and kind Just out of the service, I'm in through the classifieds. Winning at that said old Chevy somehow caught my eye. The lady didn't know the year or even if it ran, but I had that thousand dollars in my hand. It was way back in the corner of this old ramshackle barn. For 30 years of dust and dirt on that green army tarp. And when I pulled the cover off, it took away my breath. For what she called a Chevy was a 66 Corvette. And I felt a little guilty. 
birthday song and it's Brian Ireland's birthday tonight out here on the keyboard
start to spread But fancy gloves always oh, old back easy So there's never, never one trace of red mm, Sunny sidewalk, ooh, Sunday morning on Lolly body, just oozing fun And someone sneaking round the corner Could that someone perchance be Mac the Knight? Oh, well then the tugboat up, up hit down by the river, don't you know? Well, a seaman fan just drooping on down Oh, that seaman is just, it's there for the way to dear Five will get you ten, no Mackie back in town. Now that you hear about Louis Miller, well, he disappeared, babe. And drawing out all of his hard earned cash. And now Mackie spent just like a sailor. Could it be that our boy's done something right? Care for these guys, all of them, everybody here. We, uh, over the years, we've been so blessed to have had so many wonderful musicians play with us, but I, this is the ultimate. This is absolutely not only Jim and Chuck and Felton, but the Horn guys and Brian. Uh, it, we, we are just, we're overwhelmed. These guys are the best. And, uh, Testing one, two. What he thinks. I think that if we kept playing with these boys after a couple years, we'd be pretty damn good. We'd have a hell of a band, <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. Don't you have a little statement kind of thing that you. I just would like to do a serious song. Yeah, we've Everybody done, we, our, so, so far light. our songs have been so lighthearted and yeah, stuff. Like it's, good, something. it's good to get, you know, it's good to be serious. I, know. I, I, I don't want people to think that we're just a bunch of clowns. No, no. Sorry, Chick-fil-A I could eat there seven times a day Where the people laugh and children play Oh, I'm in love with Chick-fil-A Suddenly I need waffle fries in front of me With some nuggets and a large sweet tea Oh, Chick-fil-A You set me free Kids get in the van So we can go there today But their story 
doors are closed Oh, I know Cause it's Sunday Chick-fil-A What a dirty, rotten trick to play Now I'll have to settle for Subway Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And by the way, I stole that from a funny, funny comedian named Tim Harkin. So uh. Tim, if you're watching out there, <laughs> sorry. No money. No royalties. <laughs> well, it's time for a change. I'm tired. Of the same old scene, same old words, same old lines, same old tricks, same old rhymes. It's days, precious days. They roll in and out like waves. I got boards to bend, I got planks to nail, I got charts to make. I got seas to sail, I'm gonna build me a boat With these two hands, it'll be a fair curve from a noble plan Let the chips fall where they will Cause I've got boats to build Now sails just like wings Wind makes them sing Songs of life, songs of hope Songs to keep your dreams afloat I'm gonna fill me a boat With these two hands it'll be a fair curve from a Let the chips fall where they will Cause I've got folks to kill Shores, distant shores there's where I'm headed for I got the stars to guide my way Sailing to the light of day I'm gonna build me a boat These two hands, it'll be a fair curve from a noble plan Let the chips fall where they will Chips fall where they will Cause I've got folks to do Dang, it's fun to do songs like that. Good night. <laughs> Went into an Irish pub not too long ago to have a, just felt like having a Guinness.
went in there and sat at the bar, ordered my Guinness, and there were these two kind of large women sitting there at the bar, kind of spilling over the bar stool. And <laughs> they were talking to this beautiful brogue. I assumed it was Irish. I said, hey, ladies, uh, gosh, that's, that's so nice. Uh, are, you, are you guys from Ireland? And one of the ladies looked at me with a scowl. She said, it's Wales, you idiot. I said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Are you two Wales from Ireland? <laughs> True story. Oh, here it comes. You remember when I was saying some of the songs we've done every night for 50 years, some of them I like? What a revolting development this is. Yeah, boy, boy, I never knew that. We're going to ease into Rocky Top tonight. With a part that you... Oh, I'm sorry. A part that you can take part in. Are you willing to take part? Get part of this show. Be out here and, and, and everything. Yeah. Sounded like Joe Biden.
singing, everybody. Good singing. All right, now, here's one of our newest favorite songs we're going to do for you now. Before we do it, I'd like to tell you about, we have a few CDs left out there for sale. Not, not many. But uh, if you like the show, go ahead and buy one. And buy them all. If you don't like, yeah, if you don't like the show, buy them all and destroy them. <laughs>
you.
I wonder if the YouTube people are still with us. You guys still with us? Everybody here? Where's Jimmy? Same old thing. Thank you all so much. This is just such great fun for us. And, um, so many of you have, have been with us all these many years, and you just, uh, we, we appreciate you more. They're not words to say how much we appreciate y'all. And so, don't be so solemn. Let's, let's rev it up just a little bit. What do y'all think? Yeah, all right. That's a little better. Everybody here? There he is. All right. We have a song list. That is so rare. That's a first. We never have In a song 50 list. 50 years, first damn time. <laughs> Here we go. Champagne don't hurt me, baby. Cocaine don't drive me crazy. It ain't nobody's business.
Captain. Drink your whiskey, drink your wine, those dark old boys, they'll treat you fine. It ain't nobody's business but mine. Smoke that pot or smoke that hash, they'll find out where the good stuff's down. It ain't nobody's business but mine. Well, champagne don't hurt me, baby. Stomping baby chickens. I'm telling you. Well, I'm tired. I'm out of breath. Okay, here's another one of our old favorites. We've been singing forever and just love it as much today as we did the first time we ever sang it. tuning the banjo, that's incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's knowing that your door's always open and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words or bonds or the ink stains that I've tried upon some line. That keeps you on the back rows by the rivers of my memory, keeps you ever gentle on my It's not clinging to the rocks that I did, planting on their columns now that binds me. Or something that somebody said because they fit with fit together walking. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiving when I walk along some railroad track and find. That you're moving on the back road by the rivers of my memory And for hours you're just gentle on my mind Though the wheat fields and the clotheslines, the junkyards and the highways come between us And some other woman's crying to her mother cause she turned and I was gone I still might run in silence, tears of joy might stain my face. The summer sun might burn me till I'm blind. But not to where I cannot 
see you walking on the back road by the rivers flowing gentle on by by. So much. It's so fun to do songs that we do. We just phrase right together. We've been singing these songs so long, it just flows out naturally. Every time, nobody gets hurt. It's just, <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. All right. Well, I guess it's about time. Randy, what would you like to hear? Sitting here beside me and I'm drunk out of my mind Muted from the fact that you are here And I have not been known as Saints and walking But I just as soon right now Pull on over to the side of the road And show you what I mean that to you I haven't thought of her in years you buy you a woman more than anyone I'd ever know
Raby. I'd like to introduce this next song. Oh, he's got a tune in get darn and everything. So um, here's the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, a bar classic. <laughs> Just look at him. Here it is, folks. A bar classic singing a bar classic. That's us. Scotch and silver on your eye. Baby, do I feel high? Oh, my. Do I feel high? Dry martini, jigger of gin. What a spell you've got me in, oh my, do I feel high? People won't believe, they'll think that I'm just He was six years old. Kevin Hyde.
Um, we're going to do a song now that Paulie wrote. Actually, it's the first song he ever wrote. And it, it actually precedes Banks and Shane. Paul was still in the Navy in Charleston, and I was living in Augusta. And uh, we'd gotten together and decided we were going to give this a go. And uh, he shows up uh, over at Augusta one Sunday afternoon and says, hey, I wrote a song. I said, well, let's hear it. And he played it. And I said, oh, my God, you, you're a songwriter. And then I didn't hear from him about from songwriting for another 10 years. But uh, <laughs> that doesn't matter because this one's a winner. We, it's great. We put it on a second record we ever made, uh, Who Is It album, I think. Yeah. I, I, I think in our career I've written uh, one song every 10 years. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, five songs, 50 years, that works out about right. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's discipline. That requires a great deal. Oh, I know. Well, it, and it requires a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's great. Flew in last Thursday morning Feeling hard to get back home Seven years was long enough To ease my mind My hat went flying higher Than my thoughts as I stepped down And I searched the anxious faces For the love I left behind Searching found the tear stained smiling face I knew so well. Thought of all the years she'd spent waiting for me. But her first words told of time that shame and things I did not know. And I got to feeling deep inside that soon. I don't really want to go home, but I wouldn't like to stay away. So I spend my nights in the middle of nowhere, waiting for a summer day. And when it comes, I'll just leave the past behind. I'll put it
Thank you very much. It, it's time for a little beach music. All right. Beach music was born in the fraternity houses of the Southeastern Conference.
start. Ah, fill me up, fill me up, for the cup, don't break my heart. I'll be over at ten, you tell me time and again, but you're late. I wait around and then, but I went know. to the door, I can't take any more. Was well, that you? You let me down again. Everybody, sing! This is, we just recently started doing this song, when, really with the big band, and it's really, it's one of my absolute all-time favorite songs. And that's why it's so and magnanimous of it, you to it, turn it, it over to me and let me sing the song, because, I mean, we both, we both liked the song for so long, and it's just, I just think it's really nice of you to say, well, you, well, you didn't really say you sing it, but. But no, I, I, I didn't say that. I'm going to sing it. I, what? You're yeah, it's great. It's great. We, uh, first time I remember this song was uh, in Dallas, I yep, think. Yep, Dallas. We I remember that. I remember. You did? Yeah, yeah I did. I did. I told you it was my favorite song. Have I got, have I, uh, have I got you distracted? Well, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I was always kind of counting on singing this song. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. That's what's so nice that you let me, you know. <laughs> hmm. Marjorie, where are you, dear? Marjorie is here tonight, and she's 92 years old. <laughs> wave, wave to everybody, Marjorie. Look at there. You're the best. Marjorie, wouldn't you rather hear, have me? Well, she doesn't know. She doesn't know yet. Uh, how good this is going to be. <laughs> well, all right, go ahead. Yeah. I'll, I'll just be, I'll, yeah, yeah just, just mind if I just sit have back a little and coffee. enjoy your, your singing. Just have a little coffee, though. You know what you're do. Okay, boys. <laughs> Beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My love stands on golden sand and watches the ship that goes sailing somewhere beyond the sea. She's there. Far beyond the star, it's near beyond the moon. I know without a doubt, my heart will leave me that soon. Beyond the shore, we'll kiss just as before. We will be beyond the sea And never again I'll go sing
we will be beyond the sea and never again I'll go sailing no more sailing so long sailing bye bye It's better when you share. <laughs> all right. Oh boy, the horn players. You guys holding up all right? <laughs> all right, we're, we're Marjorie, gonna, you holding up all right? We're going to put these guys through their paces now. Chuck, will you take over? All right, we're doing a song from the Caribbean. Yeah. It's a crazy song. Banks and Shane are nice enough to do with me and it features a lot of horns a lot of percussion a lot of hollering a lot of hooting 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 and it goes like this ole 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 Feeling hot, hot, hot. What to do? I'm like, like this. Music sweet. I can't resist. We need a fancy song. A fundamental job. So we yum, 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 yum. Yeah, we yum, 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 yum. Feeling hot, hot, hot.
first met um, we, we played a few songs together and it, it wasn't very long at all before I realized that uh, we had this in, incredible connection the way our voices sort of matched but the thing that impressed me the very very most about Paul was was the just absolute strength and beauty of his voice and just you know it made me want to be a better singer uh, to, so that I could uh, stay with him but it just uh, right now. I just this is uh, this the perfect example, y'all. I just the, the the tonality and the musicality of Paul's voice um, really, really, really touched me deeply, and um, this is a perfect example. And before you go, I'd like to say thank you to you because you have made our lives so much fun. You have made plans. You came up with the ideas. We have had so damn much fun. <laughs> Thanks to you.
an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my Told you. <laughs> no, that's so good. Man, what a great singer. So anyway, um, Paul's been gracious enough to let me um, do a couple of my favorite songs and like do one more. And Shoot, I like them too. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. So, and this this song is one of those that kind of gives us all a little bit of hope, and uh, we Lord knows we could use that. <laughs> Well, he's eight years old with a flower sack cape tied all around his neck. Climbing up on top of the garage, he's figuring what the heck. He screws his courage up so dang tight that the whole thing come unwound. Took a run to start, bless his heart, he headed for the ground. But he's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Gotta spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your cape. Well, he's all grown up with a flower sack cape tied all around his dreams. Full of piss and vinegar, all oh, he's busting at the seams. He licks his finger and he checks the wind, it's gonna be do or die. He wasn't scared of nothing, boys. He's pretty sure he could fly. Cause he's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Gotta stretch your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your cape. on top of the garage it will be till he's dead and all the years the people said the fool was acting like a kid since he did not know he could not fly so 
so he did. Cause he's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Gotta spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your king. Yeah, he's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Gotta spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your king. Spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your king. Forget to trust your cape. Yeah, trust your cape. Uh, we get to a really special part of the program. We'd like to feature Chuck now, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail and let Charlie tell you about this next song. This is special. Thanks, guys, and thanks for the job over many years. So this is a song that Banks and Shane used to sing to me when I was a baby. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but seriously, folks. This is a song I used to sing to, to our little girls when they were tiny, bedtime, and it's called I Like to Dream. I like, I like to dream, that's what it's called. And <laughs> dream I like to. <laughs> I think it's called I Like to Dream. Anyway, I hope you like it. It's, uh, it's special, it's bedtime. Don't go to sleep though. Are you ready, guys? Where am I? <laughs> I like to dream. Yes, yes, right between the sound machine. On a cloudy side, I'm in the night.
you, folks. Nick Abrams, Jim Duran. Thanks and Chuck Shane. Shane. Chuck joined our band uh, in 1974. Uh, he, he was, was 18. 18 years old, and uh, it was summer break from uh, from college, and uh, he he joined the band and played with us through the, the whole time, but he didn't neglect his education. Um, 28 years later, <laughs> he, he did graduate from Georgia State with a degree. <laughs> and, uh, we really, <laughs> but seriously, I, I, the, the name of this band ought to be Banks and Shane and Chuck. There's, there's, Banks and Chains. There's never been a greater champion of Paul and me, a greater support of Paul and me, a greater friend Patience. to Paul and me than Chuck Shane. And we, we, we love him so much and appreciate him. And we also really need to give a big Thank round you, of applause uh, to Chuck's wife, Maggie. Maggie put together the slideshow and uh, poured through all these old pictures and stuff. And every time when we would we'd go out to Colorado, we'd have a group out there, and Maggie would organize the first night party and do just everything in the world for us. And Maggie, I don't know, I don't know where you're sitting tonight, but boy, we sure love you, and, and we just appreciate you so very much. Thank you. We all love you. Jim and Felton, you know, it's hard to find more reliable, steady guys than Jim Duran and Felton Dunn. Let's have a big hand for them. And of course, the new boys. Our horn players, Gene Richards on saxophone, Justin Powell on the trumpet, Kevin Hyde on the trombone. And the kid, let's hear it for Nick Abrams. Nick Abrams. Nick's been with us the last couple of years, and we love him to death. And Brian, the birthday boy, let's hear it for Brian, Brian Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. The keys add so much, and we appreciate it. All right. Standing by my window on one dark and cloudy when I saw that hearse come rolling for to carry my mother away. Come on, y'all. Will the circle be unbroken? Close behind 
are the reason that we've been at this for 50 years. It's too much. It's so much fun. Y'all are beautiful. We love you to be. Y'all are the best. We have a special treat. <laughs> we have one more voice. Eddie Owen has been our dear, dear friend for many, many, many years. 
and the guy that the guy that runs this here place and keeps. By the way, if you haven't been here for for the shows he puts on, let's it's, do this. It's if you haven't been here, raise time. your hand. If you've not been here before, raise your hand if you've never been here before. Oh, you got to come. Where in the hell have you been? There are only three of them that raise their hands, Eddie. They've all been here. But anyway, Eddie is, Eddie is one of the Atlanta's great, great musical treasures. A lot of y'all probably don't realize this, but when, when, Eddie, when Eddie had Eddie's Attic in Decatur, he discovered the Indigo Girls. He discovered John Mayer. He discovered Sean Mullins. He, he is responsible more than anybody else in our community for all of the great music that has come out of Atlanta for all of these many years. And I think he That's needs right. to get a tremendous round of applause. Eddie Owens, he is one of our absolute heroes. Come stand in the middle here, Eddie. And also Jennifer Nettles. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're right. Actually, my wife discovered Jennifer Nettles because Jennifer moved up here from Douglas, Georgia. And she came up here to go to school at Agnes Scott College where my wife was working. And she said, Eddie, there's this young girl from South Georgia that matriculated here this year as a freshman, and she can sing. And I said, well, send her over to the open mic. And oh. she did, and she did, oh and they boy. did, and, and they she did, and she did. She hit it hard. There was another time. Y'all don't need to stand up. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, sit down. No, but there was another time in Eddie's attic when Monday night was open mic songwriters night. And Eddie asked Paul to come one Monday night. This was back in, the, I guess, the early 19, mid-1980s. And Paul went over there and sang. And this girl came up to him and said, I saw you at Laurel Springs Elementary School when I was in the third grade. And I went home that day and told my daddy I had to have a guitar. Emily Sailors of the Indigo Girls. That was her. And because of Eddie and because of Paul. I said, well, thank you, little lady. <laughs> Yeah, could not hold me. The 
about that. Oh, boy. That was fantastic. We got one more song, and we need you all to sing it with us. Thank you all so much. I mean, we, we owe you our lives. We can't frankly. thank you too much. Yep. Just, we just can't. Y'all are the best. Thank you. 99 bottles of beer. <laughs> again with just my children and my wife I'd thank my lucky star to be living here today where the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away and I'm proud Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, from New York to LA. There's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Thank you.